Meet Susan, an aspiring painter. She wishes to conduct an online painting exhibition for all her digital artworks. However, as the exhibition is online, she is worried that her paintings won't be secure as anyone could easily forge or replicate them. Her friend Mark came to her rescue with an idea of NFT. He suggested that Susan could buy NFTs for all her paintings as NFTs are trustworthy, easily transferable, and will also maintain her ownership rights on her artworks. Susan had no idea what NFTs were, so Mark stepped ahead and explained it to her. NFTs turn your digital assets into one of a kind by creating a unique digital signature, which defines the ownership of your assets and that can be bought and sold for real money, cryptocurrency, or any other asset, like a non-fungible token, aka NFT. Non-fungible tokens means that they are not interchangeable, and each of them represents unique assets owned by a specific person. On the other hand, fungible tokens are interchangeable and can be divided into smaller units to form the same value. For example, a $100 bill is fungible, as you can exchange it with five $20 bills or two $50 bills. But the painting of The Last Supper is non-fungible, as it cannot be generated in bulk. Even if it is copied, it will not be authentic. Each NFT contains distinguishable information like who owns the digital asset and who sold it making them distinct and easily verifiable. As it is impossible to forge such a certificate, it will secure her painting's originality. After learning what NFT is, Susan was curious to know how exactly NFT works. NFT basically creates a blockchain-based digital certificate for your digital collectibles, including games, music, art, and many more. This certificate gives your artwork a unique identity. The underlying technology and the programming language used by NFTs are the same as other cryptocurrencies, such as blockchain and the programming language Ethash or Script. NFT majorly exists on Ethereum blockchain, a distributed public ledger that records all the transactions. However, NFT is quite different from these cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin and Ethereum are fungible tokens, which means if you trade Bitcoin or Ethereum for one another, you will have the same value or item in return, basically money. On the other hand, NFT is a unique token. Therefore, if you try to trade it, you may end up with something completely different in your hands. CryptoPunks is a remarkable example of NFT. It enables you to buy, sell, and store 10,000 collectibles with the proof of ownership being stored on the Ethereum blockchain. After exploring how NFTs work, Susan was convinced and bought NFTs for all her paintings. Due to this, her artworks were secured from any kind of forgery and also gave her artworks a particular value. This contributed to increased sales too, as everyone was easily able to buy the artwork without any fear. All in all, her exhibition was a complete success. Similarly, NFT has proved itself to be a boon in the lives of many others, like Jack Dorsey, the CEO and co-founder of Twitter with his very first and famous tweet, just setting up my Twitter, and Vignesh Sundarasan, famously known as Metacoven, who bought $69.3 million worth of NFT art on Beeple. Owing to its increasing popularity, people are now willing to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for NFTs. NFT has enhanced media exposure and special perks for aspiring artists like Susan on social media. This popularity of NFT creates new opportunities for new art platforms motivating people to buy art from internet platforms and promoting copyright or originality of digital assets. So here is a question for you. What makes any item non-fungible? A, exchangeability. B, unique digital signature. C, tradeability. D, distributed public ledger. Please give it a thought and drop your answers in the comments section below. Three lucky winners will receive Amazon gift vouchers. Many experts in the crypto industry say that around 40% of new crypto users will use NFTs as their entry point. As a result of its growing popularity, NFT could represent a more significant part of the digital economy in the future. NFT and cryptocurrency appears to be the order of the day these days, especially since the COVID-19 pandemic nearly drove the entire world to go digital. Both appear to be a profitable market. You have probably read stories about people making hundreds of millions of dollars using NFTs or headlines about cryptocurrency values fluctuating and even crashing as a result of a single Elon Musk tweet. If you're not familiar with these terms, 
It's understandable if you have wondered if NFTs and cryptocurrencies are the same thing. Well, they aren't. Although there are some parallels between NFTs and cryptocurrencies, they're not the same thing. So, hello everyone, I'm Shami and I welcome you all to this new video of Simply Learn on NFTs versus crypto. Before diving deep into the difference between NFT and cryptocurrency, let's first define what these two are. NFT is an acronym for non-fungible tokens when it's unique and can't be replaced with something else. Something is said to be non-fungible. Each NFT contains distinguishable information like who owns the digital asset and who sold it, making them distinct and easily verifiable as it is impossible to forge such a certificate. NFT basically creates a blockchain-based digital certificate for your digital collectibles including games, music, art and many more. This certificate gives your artwork a unique identity. On the other hand, cryptocurrency is defined as a virtual currency that utilizes cryptography to secure and verify transactions as well as regulate and control the generation of new currency units. It is decentralized and free from any third-party interference, which means it is not issued and controlled by any government or central authority, unlike other payment systems that banks or governments are handling. Cryptocurrency charges almost no or very low transaction costs. There is no limit for making transactions. In fact, you have 20.7 access to your money. There is no extra delay or extra charges or making international transactions. And the best part is that anybody can use cryptocurrency without the hassles of paperwork. All you need to do is create an account or any digital wallet of cryptocurrency. Now that we know the basic concept of both NFT and cryptocurrency and understood the underlying technology, let's move ahead and look into the comparison parameters for NFT versus crypto. First is trading the process of their trading in the crypto market. Second is purpose. We will differentiate between them by the purpose behind their concept. Third is volatility. In this, we will compare their performance and a volatile nature in the crypto market. And the fourth and the last one is uses and marketplaces. In this, we will look into the difference between their users as well as the marketplaces they are actively used. Trading NFTs are bought and traded online and are managed in a digital ledger. Therefore, they cannot be traded for one another. For example, instead of purchasing a physical photograph to hang on the wall, the buyer receives an original digital file and he pays for it by money, whereas cryptocurrencies can be traded or exchanged for each other with no loss of their value. The peer-to-peer -peer system which works using blockchain technology enables anyone to send and receive payment through any form of digital money or cryptocurrency. Now coming to, to purpose. Each non-fungible token serves as a form of authenticity certificate indicating that a digital asset is distinct and not interchangeable due to the cryptographic principles that characterize the blockchain an NFT can never be altered, adjusted or stolen. Cryptocurrency on the other hand like traditional currencies such as the US dollar is a medium of exchange designed to exchange digital information and solve the difficulties of traditional currencies by allowing for quick secure and decentralized transactions as well as the purchase and payment of goods and services. Coming to the next one, Volatility. Although both NFT and cryptocurrency have unstable volatility, NFTs are thought to be less volatile in comparison to cryptocurrency. Artists and traders alike have been drawn to NFT because of its creative artistic side. On the other hand, it may deter individuals who find the task of designing NFTs excessively difficult, complicated or inconvenient. But cryptocurrencies in particular are regarded as high-risk investments as crypto opponents 
and regulators have frequently stated in their condemnation of cryptocurrencies. However, certain cryptocurrencies have been created with the intention of being more stable than others. And also, high risk comes with high rewards. Now coming to the users and marketplaces. NFT is used for digital content, gaming items, investments and collaterals, domain names and etc. Whereas cryptocurrency is used for low cost money transfers, wealth management, ethical business practices and etc. Currently the largest NFT marketplaces are Rarible, OpenSea and Foundation. On the other hand, the largest crypto marketplaces are Binance, Coinbase, Kraken and eToro. Well, now that we know the difference between NFT and cryptocurrency, let's discuss what's better between them. Now, if you're artistically inclined and want to make money for your digital artwork, NFTs are a viable option. The market's creative, artistic component has enticed both artists and traders to participate. On the other side, although cryptos are slightly unpredictable, some cryptocurrencies have been created to be more stable than others. These cryptocurrencies are known as stable coins, and the key advantage is that they have lower volatility than other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Tether and USD coin are two examples of stable coins. Their worth is determined by the US dollar's value. So how do you decide which of the two is the better option? It is determined by the trader's motivation and readiness to take a risk. So this was all about NFT versus crypto. Do let me know your thoughts on these comparisons in the comment section. We have almost reached the end of this video. If I missed anything important, do let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video on NFT versus crypto and learn something new from it. If you like this video, then please do hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from Simpleader. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.